Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about systems of two equations, and we're going to solve each by graph. Okay? So I was given these two equations. Let's go to the first one here. x minus y equals 3. The second equation being 7x minus y equals a negative 3. But what we want to do is get both of these. I like to get both of them y equals mx plus b form, so isolate y. So let's go quickly do that. We subtract an x of both sides, leaving off the negative y equals a negative x plus 3, and divide both sides by a negative um, out front, so it gets y positive on the left, then becomes a positive x minus 3 on the right. So our first equation we can, be, can be rewritten as y equals x minus 3. The second equation all right, so the same thing, let's get y by itself, we subtract the 7x to both sides, which gives us a negative y equals a negative 7x minus 3. Divide both sides by a negative y, or a negative 1, and we have y equals a positive 7x plus 3. So here are the two equations that we will be graphing. So let's go make our graph. Try to keep it as straight as possible here. We have it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. And negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and negative 5. And 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay. So now we need to graph these two. Well, let's graph the first one. We have y equals x minus 3. So minus 3 is our y-intercept. We're going to put a dot right there. Then we have a slope of 1, coefficient in front of x. Up 1, over 1. Rise over 1. Up 1, over 1. Right here. Up 1, over 1. Down 1, over 1. And down 1, over 1. Okay? So we have a nice little line right there. Okay? That represents our y equals x minus 3. The next one was y equals 7x plus 3. So we have a positive 3 as a y-intercept. Okay? Um, yeah. Plus 3 is a, our y-intercept. Plus 3. And we have a 7x. Well, 7x here. That means we have a... We can go up 7 over 1. Not really going to work, right? Uh, we're kind of off our graph, so let's go opposite, down 7 to the left 1. Down 7 gets 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, at negative 4, over 1, right here at negative 1. And there we have it. We actually see our intersection there, so I'll do my best to draw that line, long distance, about straight edge, but I manage. And there we go. And so we have an intersection there. Our intersection is at negative 1, comma, negative 4. And that's where these two equations meet. And that's our that's the only solution where they're both true. So let's do a quick recap here. We're given our two equations, x minus y equals 3 and 7x minus y equals negative 3. I rewrote them to have uh, y come first and then y equals mx plus b form. When I graphed both of them, I saw that they intersected here at negative 1, negative 4. That's where they were intersecting. And so our final answer, this... Um, the solution to the system of equations by graphing is negative 1, negative 